Welcome to day 25 of Shadow Hunters Month, and today I'm going to be talking about my hopes and predictions for season 3B and the two hour finale of Shadow Hunters. Um, it's crazy to think that we probably should have already seen most, if not all, of 3B at this point, if it had aired when it was supposed to. It's just nuts to think that, um, considering how far away it still feels, um, even though we're getting closer. Um, actually, it's three months today. February, it is the February 25th, right? Yeah, it'll be three months today. That's cool. Um, Maybe kind of fitting to have this video today then. Uh, so, yeah, the 3B and the finale looming. Um, there's so much that could happen and it's kind of hard to gauge what I want to happen and what I think will happen um, because obviously due to the show prematurely ending um, I feel like they're going to kind of have to rush through books 5 and 6 in terms of plot um, and I feel like they'll have to do a lot of book 6 just in that two part finale which is kind of annoying um, I mean I'm sure they've left some plot threads open just in case the show gets saved still um, but I think, think it will still be like a satisfying ending and everything just in case um, so I'm not worried about not feeling like completely fulfilled um, because you know they haven't covered every single storyline from all the books anyway they've done their own thing and that's completely fine you know that's fair enough um, so I'm not expecting everything um, I'd want from books 5 and 6 to happen in 3B and the finale um, because that's just not how the show's ever worked, so that's fine. Um, there are a few things I hope or think will happen in 3B on the finale, so I just kind of wanted to go through a couple of those things um, to kind of get us all hyped for when the show comes back in February. Um, so I have made a few little notes, um, and potential spoilers for the books and the show ahead, obviously, if I'm right about a few things, and I will be talking a bit about um, some of the rumours that have gone around about what's going to happen um, in the show. So, be warned. Um, obviously none of it is confirmed, uh, but yeah, just tread carefully. If you don't want to know about rumours or anything, maybe come back to this video another time. Um, but yeah, spoiler warning aside, let's get into it. Um, my first point, which I wrote in all caps, says, Sizzy will destroy me. Um, I think we've known for a while that 3B was going to be the rise of Sizzy. And it still burns me that we're only really going to get at most 12 episodes of them. And it's not like they're going to get together in episode 11 when they come back. It's probably going to be closer to the end of the season than anything probably happens with them romantically. And that's fine, because I'm glad they're kind of building up to that. Um, it could be earlier because for all we know they could have like a six month time gap in between 3A and 3B so they may have been getting to know each other loads over the past five six months or whatever we have no idea yet um, but they do kind of like continuing on straight from where they left off a lot of the time because um, I think in 3A Magnus mentioned that it had only been like a couple of months since everything kicked off in season one, which I feel like was a bit of a stretch, to be honest. Because um, if that's how the timeline works, then Clary and Simon probably have dated for like a week, and that's clearly not the case. Um, so I feel like they mucked up the timeline a bit there. Um, but you know, whatever. So I feel like there could be a bit of a time jump. Um, maybe not too long. Because um, I don't think they want to drag out everyone's thinking Clary's dead for too long, because it's not really a spoiler to say that Clary's alive and well. Um, oh well. Well, maybe not, but definitely alive. Uh, but yeah, 3B is going to be the time of Sizzy. Um, I think we've been told they're going to go on a mission together at some point, and they're just going to grow closer. We've seen a few behind-the-scenes kind of videos and shots of them. Um, we know they have a scene together, um, in Simon's room. Um, obviously we don't know exactly when, um, what episode that could be in, but who knows. Um, 
I would be perfectly happy with lots of scenes in Simon's room with Izzy there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's just me. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to see kind of Simon and Isabel really get to know each other and really have that beautiful connection that they have in the books as well. The, Albert and Emma um, Emma Ward definitely have a lot of chemistry. Um, at least, I think so. Um, so I'm excited to see them kind of explore that, because they seem to get along quite well. Um, but I just, because they're my favourite couple in the books, I'm just so excited to see them brought to life properly in the show. And I appreciate that the show has done a slow burn, just like the books did, but I felt like they could have had a bit more focus in the show so far. Um, because they, I think like they almost assumed they would be getting like four or five seasons, and obviously that's not the case. They, I feel like they're going to kind of have to rush things a bit with them, which is a huge shame. But at least we're going to get to see them, and I'm happy about that. If nothing else, um, I'm really excited to see their bond um, and their connection. And in terms of what elements of the story in the books they're going to adapt, I don't know, because um, in the books. Isabel was the first girl Simon slept with, and that's definitely not the case in the show. Um, and the whole thing with Simon drinking Isabel's blood and stuff, we've kind of already treaded that water with the Raphael and Izzy, which annoys me. But that's fine. Um, but we have been told that there is at least like one or two scenes from the books that have kind of been adapted into the show, which I'm very excited to see. Um, but I'm just so excited for their journey in 3B and the finale, hopefully they'll be, ham, you know, get their kind of happy ending in the finale. We'll see. Because um, it was sort of, well, it was kind of a bit of sweet for them at the end of the Wild Instruments book series, and then they kind of got more of a happy ending later on. Um, well, we'll see how um, the rest of the books go when they come out, but yeah, I hope things end really, really well for them, because I know for sure they're going to absolutely destroy me um, in these next 12 episodes. I'm going to be absolutely living. I feel like I'm going to be well fed um, after wanting Sissy for so, so long. Um, I'm just really, really excited to see them fall in love and have this beautiful, beautiful romance. Uh, I really hope it lives up to my hype because I've just been yearning for it for so long. Um, so I hope they do it well. I feel like they will do it justice. Um, I mean, Emerald's been talking about Sissy since season one and how much she's been looking forward to getting to that. So I'm sure she would make sure that justice has been done to them. And I know Alberto's a Sissy fan and he's a big fan of the books as well. I think he was a fan of the books before he even got cast in the show. So I'm sure, and the writers obviously, I think they're all going to really want to get it right because they're one of the main couples in the Mod Instruments. Um, so I hope they have the justice done to them that they have with Clace and definitely the justice they've done with Malik. Um, so I'm excited to see Sissy. That's kind of my biggest thing I'm excited for in 3B. Um, then, speaking of other little romances, um, I think we've been told that we're going to get a bit more of Luke and Maris, Maris, their romance. Um, I wasn't expecting these two to ever be paired together. But I'm kind of here for it, since Justin's not around in the show. Um, I'm excited to see what they do with it. I don't think it's going to be, like, a huge plot line. Um, I think it will just be kind of like a side plot, and like it kind of has been um, in 3A. Um, but I'm excited to see where they go with it. I think it could work really, really well. Um, these two kind of fractured souls maybe healing each other. I think that would be a really nice story for them. Um, so I hope we get a bit more of that and you know after everything they've both been through I feel like they do deserve a bit of happiness um, so it would be nice for them to kind of find some normality in a romance so I think we'll get a bit more of that um, and then in terms of Maya and Jordan I really don't know what they're going to do um, there are rumours that Jordan's going to be killed off quite early on in 3B um, I, uh, I, I, I hope that's not really true um, because I really like Jordan in the books, and I really, I'm really liking him in the show. Uh, I feel like Chai's doing a really great job. Um, so I hope if he does die, and I, I, I am in the mindset that I think he will be killed off in the show. Um, but I think it would probably be in maybe the finale of 3B or in two-part finale. Um, 
I don't think he'll die by the time the show ends. Um, it just depends when, really. It could be the show changing things up again. But I hope we get a lot of focus exploring the dynamic between Maya and Jordan and kind of the hurt that's been caused between them. Um, obviously, they are they get back together for a bit in the books. I don't know if they're going to go with that route I mean, in the show. Maybe they could. I'm not sure. Um... I mean, ultimately, Maya was going to break up with Jordan in the books, but then Jordan's killed. Um, and then they kind of hint that Maya and Bat are going to get together. And I actually quite like Bat in the show. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of Maya and, the idea of Maya and Bat when I read it in the books. Um, but the show kind of really sold it to me, because the little we've seen of Bat, I actually really liked him. Um, but I don't know if they'll go down that route um, and have Maya and Bat be together. Um, that'll probably be in the two hour finale if anything um, but it just depends if they keep Jordan alive or not really um, I personally think he'll be killed but they could change it up we'll see um, and from what we've been hearing I don't think Maya has a huge role in the two hour finale but I think she does show up because I think at that point Alicia was kind of filming another show um, but at least she's going to be there which I think is really nice um, but Maya, um, in more the latter half of the Mortal Instruments, she has this kind of storyline where she kind of rises up and leads a werewolf pack and takes on Maureen in the books. Um, and I feel like the Maureen in the books is kind of Heidi in the show. So I don't know if Maya and Heidi may have a storyline where they kind of face off in 3B. Um, that would be cool, though, because I think that's probably Maya's best story outside of everything with Jordan. Um, so I'd love to see her get a lot more focus in 3B because I think she has been a bit underused in 3A and particularly when she wasn't even in episodes 9 and 10 um, so I'm excited to see what they do with Maya and Jordan in 3B hopefully they'll I don't know if I want them to be together or not I really don't I actually quite like them together in the books um, we'll see what I think it's just a wait and see for me if they get them back together or they don't I think I could be happy either way so we'll see what they do. I feel like the whole issue of Magnus being immortal and Anik being mortal will come up again. Um, that was kind of a hindrance for them um, in 3A um, for a couple of episodes. I feel like that's going to come up again. Um, I feel like we'll see Asmodeus again um, causing a bit of trouble for them. Um, hopefully, because I like seeing him. So I think he'll come back in 3B and we'll see a bit more angst there. Um, especially because you know, 3A ended with Magnus losing his powers and becoming mundane I think I think he's like a mundane um, I don't know if he's still immortal or not but that's why I feel like they're going to address this whole thing again with Magnus living forever and Anik being mortal um, because I feel like Magnus is going to get a taste of living like a normal life with Anik and he might grow to actually want that um, or he'll get his powers back I think he'll get his powers back at some point um, but it'll be interesting for them to kind of continue to explore that kind of storyline because that was a major thing for them that they had to get over in the books so I'm hoping that they kind of address that in the show um, because every couple has some struggles um, and if anyone can survive a problem that big it's going to be Malik so I'm excited to see them hopefully explore that kind of storyline with them um, you know Alec needs to recover from his injuries but Magnus also needs to deal with what happened to him so hopefully well I'm, it's Malik so they're going to get a lot of focus because everyone loves them um, and quite rightly um, it just depends what they do with them. But I think the whole mortality thing might come up again. Um, and I hope they explore that. Um, these are just obviously like the main points I'm making. There are a few other things. Um, a few background characters I think are going to get more focus. Um, like Underwood, he'll get a bit more screen time, I think. Um, Lorenzo, he'll pop up again, even though I hate Lorenzo, one arsehole. Um, so yeah, there's a few little things, but these are just like the main points I'm making. And another thing with Malik, um, there are rumours about the two-hour finale that there could be a Malik wedding. Um, I think there is evidence for it. Um, it could be, I suppose, a nice way of rounding off the show. Um, I don't know if it will actually happen or if it's going to be like a dream sequence or anything, because we'll get on to my thoughts on what's going to happen in the finale in a minute. Because I think there's going to be quite a few like dream sequences and a lot of it may not be real. Um, 
but you know, I could be wildly off. And if there is a manic wedding, I think that would be nice for people who've been following me in their relationship on the show. Um, again, it depends on the timeline because I feel like it would be quite soon for them to get married. Um, they're not even married in the books yet, so uh, and they currently have like two kids in the books, but you know, again, the show is changing things up. Um, so we'll see. It could be like a huge time jump and we see Malik get married or something. Whether or not it happens, I honestly don't know. Um, but I think it would be a nice way to round off the show because I think the biggest thing to have come from Shadowhunters as a show has definitely been Manic. Um, so that would be a fitting celebration, I think. So we'll see what happens with that. Whether or not it happens, we'll see. Um, and then another thing I'm quite excited for in 3B is team evil um and if you've read the books you know um that more so just book five which i think is 3b is basically most of book five um so i think one of the biggest plot lines in 3b is going to be the team evil plot line which is jonathan jace and clary kind of all together um in the books jace was kind of the one under jonathan's influence and they were kind of basically the same person because He's kind of, Jace was kind of being possessed by Jonathan. Um, but based on like set pictures and stuff we've seen, I personally think they might switch up in the show and Clary might be the one who's possessed and Jace is the one who's trying to like get everyone out of the situation. Um, we've seen all three of them together, like shooting, so I feel like we are going to get lots of scenes with all three of them together. And I'm really excited to see like the Jace and Jonathan relationship and the Jonathan and Clary relationship, what they do with it. Um, because sometimes it gets quite dark in the books, so I'm excited to see what they do. Um, but you know, we've seen kind of set pictures of like Clary in like a black wig and stuff, so they could just all be undercover. But the show likes changing things up, you know, that's kind of their thing, um, from the source material. So I think it would be an interesting twist to have um, the roles reversed than they were in the books, and it was actually Clary in the show who's going to be the one under Jonathan's spell. Um, obviously I could be completely wrong, but I think that would be an interesting twist and I think that could be what they're doing with it. Um, I feel like it could almost be a good thing. Um, I think Jace needs a break from being the one who's being like, possessed and going through emotional torment and stuff. Um, but I feel like quite often Clary's had to fight against Jace and fight for Jace. So it'd be interesting to see that switched around in 3B. Um, whether or not they actually go down that plot line, um, or is Jace who's like possessed or whatever, or maybe no one's possessed, maybe it's just a completely different scenario that they've thought up for the show. Um, but that's what I think they're going to do with it, and I think that could be interesting. But no matter what they do with it, we know we're kind of getting a Team Evil story, um, so I'm really hyped for that in 3B. In terms of what they do with Jonathan, um, as in like whether or not they kill him in the end or not, <sighs> who can say? Um, I feel like he definitely won't die in 3B, I think. If he was going to die, it would be in the finale. Um, because they probably assumed they'd be getting another season. And since Jonathan's kind of the main villain in books 5 and 6, um, I think they would have kept him on for season 4. Um, but again, we'll see. They might change it up. So I'm interested in seeing what they're going to do with those three. Hopefully it'll be fun. Um, but we know we're kind of going to get a team evil story so i'm hyped um and then in terms of the finale um i feel like it could be a lot of dream sequences um just based on mainly the infamous um freeform auction auctioning off some of the shadow hunters props including props from 3b and the finale which included quite a few spoilers about what's going to happen um I won't give any specifics just in case people have managed to stay away from those and luckily I didn't get spoiled on everything about that. Um, I kind of stayed away when I found out what was going on with that shit show of an auction. Um, but yeah, some of those items I think were huge spoilers for 3B and the finale because um, I think in the listings for the props they actually did um, have like episode numbers attached to them so you know what episodes they were in. Um, and based on some of the things we see in like the finale and stuff, I feel like there's going to be quite a few hallucinations and dream sequences. Um, and if they're going on book six with the finale, um, there was kind of a sequence where 
they think they're like under the main characters are under the influence of like this demon that makes them have these like weird dream sequences but they imagine like an idealistic way of living um you know for example izzy um imagines herself at her birthday party and she's living with simon and she's with simon and max is there as well and everything um so i feel like they could be doing that um that could be a way of like bringing in old characters you know we could see lilith pop up in hallucinations um one of my biggest hopes is that clary could maybe hallucinate or see jocelyn in the dream or we see valentine in the dream again um i would love to see jocelyn return to the show however she does um, that would be cool. So I'm ha I'm ha keeping my fingers crossed for that. Um, but that would be an interesting way of bringing back old characters so we could really like celebrate the show and the characters we've met over the past three years um, for the two-part finale. So that's kind of my reasoning for why I think there could be lots of dream sequences in it. So whether or not a potential Malik wedding is a dream sequence or anything, um, that's kind of what I think. Obviously there's going to be a lot of like actual stuff happening. Um, but I feel like a big part of the finale is going to just be a celebration of the show which I think is kind of fitting and it feels right um, because this show deserves to be celebrated so yeah, that's kind of what I think could be a big chunk of the finale whether or not everything I predict is completely wrong probably is, it's probably all bollocks um, we will find out um, starting February 25th when 3B begins um, but yeah, those are just a few of the things I think could happen in Season 3B and the two-hour finale. Um, but yeah, let me know your hopes and predictions and thoughts for um, the next 12 episodes of the show. What you want to happen, who you want to see. Uh, and yeah, until tomorrow's video, thanks for watching.